In this video, we discuss assembly language. We're going to be focusing in this video on assembly languages. The diagram shown here represents the evolution through from the hardware to machine and assembly languages known as low level onto high level languages. The very first languages were direct machine code languages that required programmers to enter binary combinations of ones and zeros. These machine code languages were the least abstract. By that we mean they were the closest to what actually happens on a computer, with the programmer writing directly in binary ones and zeros. These translated directly into machine electrical signals, for example, a higher voltage representing a one and a lower voltage representing a zero. These languages, of course, were incredibly difficult to program with, leading to the creation of assembly languages. Assembly languages substituted binary code with simple sequences of letters known as mnemonics. All assembly languages are classified as low level languages. So with assembly languages, you program using short code words known as mnemonics. These mnemonics are received by the computer and effectively looked up in tables. If a match is found, the word is replaced with the appropriate sequence of binary ones and zeros. This is therefore a one to one relationship. These programs are written in assembly language and translated by a specific assembler. So here we see a appropriate simple diagram. On the left, we have our source code written in a given low level assembly language. This is then translated by an assembler, not compiled or interpreted, which is high level languages and results in processor architecture specific machine code. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now and take some notes. Thank you.